tea time. Did you hear the story about the Miami pastor who introduced his partner as the first gentleman? Yes, he did. Justin Jones is the pastor of the Powerhouse Church of Miami, and rumor has it he introduced Napoleon Leo as his first gentleman. The Powerhouse Church of Miami says that it is diverse and inclusive, welcoming all of God's children, and I like that. Now, I don't follow any religion, but something about this good news makes me feel like maybe I need to go to church. Let's go to church. Good evening. story of Jesus' crucifixion. <laughs> to know our society is finally waking up to welcome all kind of leadership and love. Leave a comment to let me know. I'm T. Erica with the T. Follow for more. First of all, all praises to the Father Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakadash. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worship in the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. My people, let's get some rest, worship, and praise in to the Father Yahweh because he's definitely worthy of such and also because it is a commandment throughout all our dwellings, wherever we are, okay? Did y'all see <laughs> that abominable act right there? They call it the Power House Church of Miami. I like to call it you know, the church of the poison mind. You understand? Uh, abominable church. Because of what they're promoting. This church is not in any way, shape, or form a representation of who they call Jesus. Okay, I'm going to just say that. It's really not. You understand? And as you can hear, the chick that was basically narrating the uh, video says she don't follow any kind of religion. And that's evident because if she did she would know not to promote this kind of behavior you know uh between men you see and also between women she looks to be as of the alphabet community herself you understand but yeah this is this is the world we're living in now and by the way christianity makes it all possible because from what i understand it is the only religion that you see these people, you know, so free and outspread about representing their abominable acts. You understand? Right before the Most High. You understand? That's just basically what it all boils down to. I wonder what they would say if they happen to look up like I do sometimes and see things like this, watching them, or just looking, just peering out of the sky, or out of trees or whatever you know what i mean i wonder what they would say then because i don't really believe that these people fear the most high you understand i'm not saying that these spirits are the most high themselves but in a sense they are a representative of him if they are angels you understand and i just wonder what they would say if they looked up and seen things like this do you think that it could be enough to make them change their ways in life i just wonder that you know maybe it won't be because some of these people do things till death and it looks like to me that's exactly what a lot of these alphabet folks are going to do and that's just what it is but today's lesson is actually dealing with them again it's kind of like a reiteration of uh you know scriptures that i've you know basically touched on before but it's a never-ending story until the story ends and when the story ends of course we know the most high is going to be the one to do the ending and that's just what it is let's get into the word people let's let's get into the word uh we're gonna start over here 
in 2 Corinthians. And basically, I wanted to start in 2 Corinthians simply because I know a lot of people figure just because these are relatives, you understand, and, and what have you, a lot of people, you know, they're getting into, you know, promoting this kind of thing and accepting it. You can't do that. You know, you really can't do Well, you can do what you want because the most I do give us free will of choice, regardless of what some people think. He does. But it's going to be a consequence made to pay for it if you promote this particular way of life. Okay. Now, starting here in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, and it reads, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Now, this is also dealing with food. You know, of when the Most High put the difference between clean and unclean. Or what we're to partake of, you understand. But, nevertheless, when you look at this way of life, that the, 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 the alphabet community um, decided to take part of, it is unclean. They are an unclean thing. This is not natural right there. Because, well right here, because none of them came in the world by two men, you know, of the same sex. Just say that. And two women of the, you know, the same sex. That's not how it works. That's just what it is. Okay? Now, we're going to go over here in Romans chapter 1 verse 28. And it reads, And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind, to do those things which are not convenient. Okay? Is this not what we're seeing? Is this not what we're seeing? Now, we're going to start here in uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 25. And it reads, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worshiped and served the creatures more than the Creator, who is blessed forever? Amen. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use and to that which is against nature see this act that they're doing is against nature you know and uh like i'm saying like i said before two men can't make a baby two women cannot make a baby so therefore you have no business in uh going into a so-called sexual act with one another this right here is an abomination Verse 27, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Okay. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge. Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, uh, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, despiteful, they're despiteful proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. This goes over into other people that are murderers, you know, and what have you, deceitful, malignity, all those things. But the main thing that I'm touching on here is the ones that were given over to the reprobate mind that's, you know, thinking uh, it's okay to leave the natural root use of a woman <laughs> and vice versa you understand see this is not the way it's done you know now over here in uh first timothy chapter 4 verse 2 and it reads speaking lies in hypocrisy having their conscience seared with a hot iron 
These people have no conscience for the vile things that they are doing with one another. They have no conscience. And they do speak lies and hypocrisies, saying other words, hey, ain't nothing wrong with this right here, what we're doing. You understand? You just hating. Hating on what? No, I'm not. I will not hate on anything like that. That's an abomination. In other words, be envious of such. That's sick. You understand? These people have a conscience seared with hot iron. You see, they they uh, they don't have the sense to understand what they're doing is wrong. Okay. Now it says here. Okay, like for example, I'm gonna just go into a brief detail the knowledge of what I'm saying about having your conscience seared with hot iron. Now in battle, in war or what have you, if you had a man a soldier that would maybe get shot, say for example in the shoulder, and they did surgery right there on the field and dug that bullet out. You understand? Poured alcohol on it, cleaned it up and every damn thing else, but then have nothing else to close that wound up. What they would do was take the hot iron of a, a, a shotgun barrel or whatever, that hot iron, and they will put that over that wound and it will burn it shut. And that guy will holler, of course, because it, it is painful, right? And that's just what it is. Now, for the rest of his life, that searing with that hot iron in that area, his nerves are damaged. He will never feel anything in that area right there where he was shot and where he had the searing of that hot iron. This is what's going on with these people right here in their spiritual conscious. You see, this is what it all boils down to. Now, what I wanna do is start here in 1 Timothy chapter four, verse one. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Okay, um, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Okay, and that's just what it is. Now, this goes into you know uh, eating meats and stuff like that. You know, um, with Thanksgiving, you know, and what have you. But nevertheless, this still reverts back to this lesson that I'm telling you about what these people are doing. You see, and let's just fix it. This whole lifestyle is a doctrine of devils created by seducing spirits. The devil himself. The devil himself. Why? Because he wants death to the world. He's going to get death. So why would he want to take others with him? That's all this boils down to. Now, over here in... Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 and it reads know ye not that the unrighteous unrighteousness unrighteous excuse me shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh question be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind do you know what that means you're abusing yourself with mankind. What they are doing is sodomies. These are sodomites. And we know there was a place in the Bible called Sodom and Gomorrah. And they got down like that. We all know that is familiar with the Most High's word. What took place in Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. This is just what it is. As a matter of fact, the Most High sent those two angels there, okay? And uh, they destroyed the place, you know? They destroyed the place. And um, it is said, if you guys can Google, or not even Google, but look up on YouTube about Sodom and Gomorrah, where a man went over there, and the place is desolate. It is said that even that not a blade of grass will ever grow in that place. And when that man went there, he found no grass. You understand? And also, it is even said that he even saw, found sulfur balls still active there. 
balls of like sulfur okay that's what it is see so look these these people man you know they are heading for damnation that's what it is uh now we're gonna go over in leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 now it says right here if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them other words is they fought no guilt whatsoever should the one that should put them to death you understand they should ever have to feel it was these people fought right here but the most high is going to make sure that his word be done because once he's put once he put his word out his word does not come back void okay that's what he says that's exactly what's going to happen that's exactly what's going to play out you see now what we're going to do is just cover this whole thing because leviticus 20 13 we're going to start in uh, leviticus 20 10 here and it reads and the man that committed adultery with another man's wife even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death and the man that lieth with his with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness you know when they said ham uncovered his father's nakedness Ham that they you know his father was Noah and they claim well Ham seen Noah and he had Noah had got drunk and fell asleep naked. No, uh uh-uh. It says right here that Ham actually slept with his either mother or stepmother. Okay? The Ham Hamite did that. Okay? That's what it means to uncover your father's nakedness. This is an abomination. Either way, be it your, of course, if it's your blood, your biological mother, but even if it is your stepmother, same thing. Let's continue. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man lie with his daughter in law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man also lie with mankind as he lie, with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them and if a man take a wife and her mother it is wickedness they shall be burnt with fire both he and they that there be no wickedness among you and if a man lie with a beast he shall surely be put to death and ye shall slay the beast and if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there unto there unto there is thou shall kill the woman and the beast they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them okay guess what just by Christianity allowing this kind of abominable activity in these churches, you understand, and accepting this, guess what's going to happen to Christianity? It should surely be put to death. Why? Because it is a false religion. It is a false religion, you understand, because any real uh, person that serves the Most High will not accept this abominable filth right here of any kind. And that's everything that's been named here in this entire chapter. And we do know, being that America is a den of iniquity, all of these things are happening. All of these things are going on. And in a lot of communities, it is well accepted. So what do you think is going to happen to America? You understand? That's what it is. That's the reason why you want to make sure be not partakers of its sins because if you do, you're going to be destroyed along with it. 
that's just what it is now let's go over here in uh, Revelations 21 verse 8 it goes back over those ones that's going to be basically put to death and it reads but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death okay that's right don't make no difference if you pass away before the most high exacts his judgment on this world you will awake back to be judged you understand and if you are doing these things that object we've just covered right here guess what what you're going to be awakened up to is the everlasting damnation fire and brimstone you understand this ain't no scare tactic this ain't no fear mongering this is real right here you can count on this when you can't count on anything else to be true here in this life rest assured the most high word is okay now revelation 22 verse 13 and it reads i am alpha and omega the beginning and the end the first and the last right let's take on this chapter right here revelations 22 verse 10 and he said unto me seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book for the time is at hand he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy let him be filthy still and he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy let him be holy still and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to as his work shall be i am alpha and omega the beginning and the end the first and the last blessed are they that do his commandments that they be excuse me that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city for without our dogs and sorcerers our whoremongers and murderers and idolatry idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie I Yahweh Shai have sent mine angels to testify unto you these things in the churches I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star okay Yahweh Shai telling you this is what is going to be right here he's the first and the last that's just what it all boils down to see so all of these people that think it's cool to do everything that they, they little hearts want to do you understand and, and defile themselves you know with abominable acts this is what you got coming to you and it's whoremongers too pimps you know what I mean and, and these ones out here buying women you know what I'm talking about? And the women, yeah, yeah, all of you did. Went out there and got your little butts juiced up. All that. The murderers, idolaters, you know, all of that. This is this is gonna be your final estate. Fire and brimstone, if you don't repent. And that's just what and turn your turn away from this wickedness. That's basically what this all boils down to. That's all I got on this particular lesson, people. I hope you guys found this lesson edifying, and I hope I said something to stimulate your spiritual walk and growth with the Most High. All praise to the Father, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched, simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.